yo guys what's going on is aces here today with another black ops 3 video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do better in search and destroy now i just joined this lobby hopefully it's not in progress because if it is i won't be able to do get it all um you know the i the odds of it not being um already in progress are kind of slim but hopefully uh we'll get lucky we'll see if it's first round i missed the first round for the spawn in Oh, I did, and it is first round. So, guys, this is actually a map I was really hoping for to do this video on because I'm actually very decent at it, but I got a very late start. I won't get any spawn picks. Someone's rushing B already, uh, which is kind of interesting. Wait for him to come around this corner here. Uh, there's a grenade that just got shot through, so we'll wait for the second dude to see if he challenges. Uh, maybe upstairs. I'm going to go pick him. Yep, there he is. Alright, we're gonna ch okay. Um, alright, so we actually got quad, not quad, triple team there. Um, two there, I did get one, and then there was a fourth one, so I actually had four team, four members of their team, um, against me. So, kind of a bad example to start out with, but, um, really guys, what, to do better in search and destroy is really situational awareness as the main thing. Right there, the other team wasn't aware of what happened, and they just got defused on. It wasn't even a ninja defuse, just straight up. Uh, look at me with crappy final kill. But, um, you know, it is all situational awareness, and some things that can help you with that are Astros. I would personally recommend them. Um, I have them on right now. You know, hearing the enemy come around a corner can be your life and your death. Um, it's just... It is a game changer, and um, you know it's just one of many things that can help you really do better in search and destroy. Now, the other thing I would recommend is a class, a very nice class to use. Um, I don't, I'm not comfortable in this situation I put myself in. Maybe he's gonna peek around again. I know I would if I had a decent AR, but I have a Gorgon spraying at me somewhere. Um, I'm not feeling comfortable with the situation that I'm in again. I think I'm gonna push B. There's some stuff going on in the building. Uh, let's go check that out. Uh, see if we can get any easy kills. Okay, we just saw him run in there. I'm going to go check upstairs, though, just to, you know, be aware of the situation. It's a 1v4 right now. Uh, I got one dude right here. Uh, I choked the shot. Another one tried to flank. Um, that just didn't end well for him. I believe they got a UAV or something. Okay, that's an RC car. and uh, Or a hover car. Um... It was very distracting, and that's something I shouldn't actually challenge. One thing I would personally recommend, if you're trying to get much better at search and destroy or any game mode, is actually keep a notepad. Everything that you do, um, if you write it down, you can actually find your weaknesses in certain games. Um, it might sound really stupid and really dumb, but if you try it, you might actually like it. Um, you know, I do it every once in a while. You, right now, I'm four and two. I just joined. I know nothing about them. Um, you know, 4 and 2 is a decent starting thing for me. I'm going to try and get a pick off of uh, these guys right here. They did smoke it, so if they have a thermal, uh, I would definitely be screwed. So I'm going to avoid challenging that. Uh, they're definitely running right side again. One just went upstairs, um, courtesy of the Astros. No, they did not, actually, but they are near B. They could be planning B right now. One's in here. Uh, let me get that reload, and I'm going to go challenge right away. Now, I doubt that was the same guy. I believe there's another guy around the corner here. Definitely. Almost positive. Um, there he is. And um, I got killed by a trip mine. I was going to hop right on the defuse after that. Um, I'm not running hardwired on this class, but a teammate did run by, so he would have screwed me anyway. So, I think we're defusing this right now. Good play by him. Um, if that trip mine wouldn't have got me, I would have been all good. 6-3 and three right now. Uh, no plans, no defuses. But what I'm going to do off this next round is the same thing I did on round two, and that is um, rush water. And um, you want to look through where the spawn is, and uh, they've been smoking it in this game, so I might take a shot at it for randoms. But you want to rush for building on this map. Um, right side is like irrelevant on this map. I'm not going to take bomb because I feel like it's a certain priority, and um, I want to play back a little bit. It's just something I've learned about myself personally that I think is a bad decision. 
So first you want to check window always when looking. Then you want to check and just check. Um, keep going back and forth. If you got like a reflex, um, but I'm gonna move over here. Uh, pull out the snipe again. Check that corner, and um, I got a hit marker, which really sucks. They just threw a trip mine as well. Um, there's at least two over here. I picked off one. Um, if there wouldn't be a guy in mid, I would push a window. But you know, I kind of expected that death. I didn't have a good angle to shoot at him with the Vesper. But guys, it is all about uh, situational awareness, how tactical you are, um, you know, certain perks that you're running, a whole bunch of things that can actually make you a lot better. Now, one thing I did notice is our team rushed A, um, and that is actually very good because we took a big advantage over them because they were all went to B. And um, this side of the map is actually irrelevant. If I would have grabbed bomb, I would have never picked it up. That guy just choked really bad. Um, I don't even know what happened there, but um, Do it again. we're going to head into the next round. Hopefully we'll win and um, you know, have a decent kill to death ratio and um, you know, and search and destroy. That's always good because you get a nice amount of XP with a 2-500 per kill, so. The camera looks dope. Alright guys, so basically as you've seen me do every other round, I have the same strategy. Now, it's not necessarily a bad one, but I do think they're going to go A. I really have a firm belief that they might try A. Um, they're probably going to smoke up top again. Um, I missed that shot somehow. I'm just choking shots. Uh, they're Right now they're pushing, so I'm, I want to get out of there desperately. But uh, they did throw a stun, but I was already further far, far enough away to uh, not have anything happen. We have an AFK back there. They did rush A like I suspected. Um, I did just barely win that. I'm going to challenge up here. I got two more to kill. I've already killed three. Um, got to play this somewhat nice. I, I feel like I'm hearing crap, but uh, I'm not actually sure. Alright, so they're definitely either going to camp out with like a trip mine. Uh, here's one. One more to go. I'm going to flank around. I got 20 bullets in the mag. That is something you also need to be aware of is your magazine count, especially with this gun. Um, you know, I know this trip mine is going to be somewhere, and um, it's it's really tripping me out. We got him, and that's game over right there, boys. So I'm going to put in this counter and UAV, hopefully. Uh, didn't give me any points, but that is the game, guys. Hopefully you might have learned something today. Um, you know, I just took on a 5v1 basically and uh, clutched the whole thing. Really wasn't a challenge for this map. This class, guys, is a dominant class. Uh, Vesper, quick draw, grip, locust is your secondary with overkill. Fast hands so you get the quick switch. Gung ho for the Vesper. Blast suppressor so you're a little bit more silent moving around on the room and around on the map. Went 12 and 4 with that one defuse. Um, you know, did the best in the lobby. You know, it's it's really easy for me to do this, and I'm glad I made a video on it. Hope you guys did learn something. Um, if you did, smack a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here, guys. I like making Black Ops 3 content. Lately, I've been on a dry streak because I had no time, but I'm going to be off for a while, so I can definitely crank out some videos. So hopefully you enjoy them. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, smack a like if you did. That's all I have for you guys today. Check out the sponsors in the description. Um, Cinch Gaming, use code ACES Gaming for 5%. I'll check out the new scope glasses with the link in the description. If you buy a pair of glasses from there, uh, you'll be supporting me and I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out.